the first story actually I'm reading is Human. This is the first story that um, I wrote um, after the winter, uh, that was in the post winter show uh, category of my page. Uh, after I had written Pumpkin Spice, which is about seven chapters long, I think. And uh, that was actually one of my favourite stories to write because I really loved it and I really loved the the characters I created for that. But um, this one's human and this one was inspired by uh, my sci-fi, writing for sci-fi and fantasy class because I had written a lot of stories for the sci-fi editions which was a, a lot of aliens, a lot of spaceships uh, and in that story they visited Earth as part of their cruise of the galaxy, of the, of the Milky Way in fact, so I thought I would write it for right on the line. So this one's called Human uh, and I hope you enjoy it. I am human, or at least I look human, thanks to the plasma coating stretching across my body that makes me look and almost feel like a human. After a moment of indecision I chose to appear like a dark-skinned male of their species. Human skin is so soft and squishy. It's revolting. Humans must be very fragile. A pin could poke at their skin and they would probably bleed their red blood all over the floor. And they only have two eyes. How can they possibly see all 11 dimensions with only two eyes? They have some truly boring options for the irises. They haven't even discolored the color fey yet. As a fainian, I find that rather insulting. And I am humiliated beyond belief that I must pick such a mediocre colour like brown for my disguise. These homo sapiens are primitive, and their notoriety of their inferiority is vast. These ape-like beings may be the most advanced in race in their system, but out of the 500 other systems in their so-called Milky Way, they are rather low on the evolutionary scale. And in my galaxy, they are so far down that they are not even on the scale. They have yet to experience any meaningful forms of tr space travel and have not even discovered intergalactic travel. They don't even use nitro-gormian uh, as fuel in their transportation vessels. From what I understand, they, they use a chunk of distilled dirt instead. So inefficient and so unsophisticated. System 392's third planet from the solar orb, colloquially known as Earth to humans, is rather unusual and outdated. Calculations from scientists on Menorb of System 15 prove that Earth is at least 21 pleurons, equal to nine and a half centuries in human terms, behind most of the systems in our galaxy. And that's coming from System 15, who is six pleurons behind the great and glorious System 1. Humans are, unbelievable, simple, are, unbe are, are unbelievably simple beings. That is almost comical. It is just that their little blue planet is the joke of both my galaxy and theirs. I have no idea why so many of the passengers have been eager to wear their skins and walk among them. No idea at all. Humans are worthless, gendered, ignorant, egotistic or romantic, violent, sensitive lumps of meat. But as the SS Abbey owner's captain, I must leave shore with a few members of my crew to ensure the safety of my ship's passengers. At least I will have the company of Mac, who has now changed their form to that of an Earth canine to help me endure this arduous trip. Humans. Ugh. I understand that bit. I mean, obviously I wrote it, but I mean I wrote it because I have I share such an affinity with that statement. I find humans disgusting quite often. They can be the worst. 